Hi folks, a while back I did a Cohen the Barbarian tutorial, which is one of the characters from Terry Pratchett's Discworld novels. Um, I had some lovely feedback from that one, so I thought I'd come back to it and do a few more characters. And I thought I'd start with my absolute favourite, which is Samuel Vimes. Um, he's quite a sort of stern, strong character, um, and everyone's got their own idea. If you're a Terry Pratchett fan, you've got your own idea of how the characters look. This is just my vision, so, you know, if you want to go, oh, that's not him, you know, fair enough, I get you've got your own opinions, but... This is how I would kind of draw him. Um, it's quite a complicated one, so feel free to pause at any point if you need to. Um, let me know how you get on and also send those requests in and remember to like and subscribe. I'm going to start with a small line going across and down like that and then another one just curving down and around like that and then I'm gonna put, it's going to be the eye so I'm going to do a couple of bags underneath so a line going slightly alongside that one and a little bag there and then a small dot inside the eye like that now I'm going to do a line going down and across and down and then a slightly thicker one going over like that. Just those little lines making that sort of hairy eyebrow there. And then we do a slight going, going down and then bring a nose out and down like that. Now bring this line over and up and a few little lines on there to make a nose. Then do another eyebrow over this side, line going across like that, and some little lines in there just to finish it off, and then the hint of the other eye, just in there. Now I'm going to do a lip over here, going over and down, up and down, and to there, and a little line, and then another line going out over this way. Do another one going in just slightly like this and a couple of little lines on there it's going to be a little cigar in his mouth and then we do some little jagged lines there and a couple of little lines coming off now we do a line going down the side of the mouth there to here and crease around like that and one down like that Now the bottom lip, do a bottom lip coming just from there over and over to there. And then a slight chin mark like that. Now I'm going to do a chin in there, so quite a strong chin. So a line going down and over and around. And then a line going down around there and down like that. A couple of little lines there to give a bit of a withered face, and then we're going to bring a jawline over and up. Now I'm going to put some lines across to make a big sideburn here. So I'll just do some big old lines going up like that, and then we're going to hook an ear going round, and another one going round like that and then just a couple of creases. Now we've got the start of that head, I'm gonna do a few lines on the side here with the hair curling back over his ear. And then we're gonna start at the brim of his hat, so do a line going across, slightly down, and over like that. And then we're gonna curve a line round, up, slight hook, and over. And then I'm going to do another line going up to there, leaving a slight point there. Now we've got that, we're going to bring this line down to the back. And then we're going to curve it out and around and up. 
and bring this line down here and curve around the back of the helmet and then we can add those other hairs in around the back there now bring this eyebrow down there and then a hint of the ear there now we've got that and put some lines on this helmet so this line's going up to the top up to the top circles either side like some big bolts on there and down the back there and then we're going to do a few swirly lines just to give it a slight pattern and then on the back of here I'm going to do a slight circle and then a curved sort of feathered part coming off so a few little squiggly lines to make a big sort of feathery helmet on the back doesn't matter how tidy it is you can make it all scruffy if you're following along as is a slightly cartoony picture i'll make the body slightly smaller it's a bit like a caricature so i'll do a line going down here and across and then we're going to go up there and into another line following on the inside and then the same over here to the other side of that and follow it on there and then we're going to do a cloth so a line going around and over and a few curls like that and bring that over there and curve that up and around I'll do the hint of a sword on his back. So I'm going to do a line going up, and a line going up, and then a line going across like that with a circle. And then we're going to do some lines following that down there. Now I'm going to do a hint of a badge here. So I'll do a round circular badge there. And maybe a little shield in it so you can get lines falling around like that and then a pointy bit at the bottom and you can go around that again and then we're going to bring a line down up and over like that then bring another line up like that and another one like that and then some small circles running up the inside there Now I'm going to do a line wiggling down there and over and a couple of creases and then curve that arm down and down like that. And we have to follow another line on the inside there and then a few more squiggles just inside to make like some sort of emblem or pattern there, any old shape you like. Curve a line round and around, a line out and down, and a couple of creases, and then we're going to line down there and over, and then some slight ridges to make a knuckle and back up. Now over this side, I can do a circle under there and a hint of the circle there. And then bring a strap down and across and down and across. Then bring the light out and down. And then we're going to do another shoulder on this side. So follow that round to there and back. And another line going up like that. bring a line across and then a few more like that and we're going to tuck that line down and over and follow these lines across this way so like that you want a faint line on there it just gives it a bit of texture and then a few chest plates some lines in there like that
and then do another hint of the arm and down and just join that together. Now down here I'm going to give him a couple of sort of waist panels there so do a line going down and across and down and across and then another couple of lines in there and again there and then we're going to do another hint of a thumb on this side and then the other side of these knuckles like he's holding both hands in a sort of fist pose ready to fight and a couple of lines and the same sort of pattern on this side I'm just going to slide that up slightly and then what we're going to add in the bottom here add a couple of legs so go to a line round and across round and across and then a line going round a little crease and across round a little crease and across and then down like that and down like that same again there And then we're going to do a couple of lines, so three lines and three lines like that. And then attach those together. Then we're going to do a line going across there, over, up, across and up. Over there, across, down, across, up and over to there. couple of creases on there and on there and then the sole of his boots following across there. Now we can put some more lines going across just to give him some straps on those boots. And then line there and we can do a big cloak coming down the back so do a line coming down the back here and down on this side go nearly all the way to the floor and then a line slightly wavy going across and then some lines going up make the rest of that cloak. Once you've got that you can put a little checkered pattern in this part here so lines going across like this all the way across and the same going that way. And then for good measure a couple of little patterns here and there so put some little squiggles on this some little bolt marks just here and there just little touches to give it sort of more of an armor look a couple of stitches bolts here and there like a really big sort of poncy uniform on him Squiggles on the helmet still. And a few lines. And there you have my interpretation of Samuel Vimes from Discworld novels.